Coco is purring on your back. The rise and fall of your. You didn't do anything wrong. I'm the one who is doing what's wrong here. Let me get to the food you eat since you're hungry. I'm no longer hungry unless you cook for me. Cook for you? Drew, you know we've not even discussed about how we run the family when we marry. How is the family run, Vivian? Is it any different from our usual family? It isn't really different. So, what is there to talk about? Please, cook something for me to eat. I will ask the maid to make you something. I don't want the maid to make me something to eat. I want you to cook for me. I don't cook, Joel. I'm not a chef. You know this already. You told me you will learn to cook, didn't you? I don't know how to cook still. And you know this already, Joel. I can't believe this. That's not an issue. You will learn, right? I don't know, Joel. I've had a very long day at work and I need to go to bed soon. You are sending me out of your house. No, I'm not doing that. It's just that I'm tired, Joel. First, you won't let me talk to your dad on moving the day forward. Now, you don't want to cook for me and you want me to leave now. You can stay, Joel. I shouldn't have come over. I don't know what I was thinking coming over here. Okay. Okay, that's what you say. What do you want me to say? You want to leave already, so leave, please. I'm tired of all this. Since you got here, you have just been complaining on this and that. You should have stayed at home, Joel. You are right. Is everything okay? It was just leaving. Vivian, Vivian. Why won't I just accept him? What is even the worst that can happen that hasn't happened before? I know my heart has been broken numerous times, but does that mean I won't find love? Will the cost really come to play on my life? Mina, why are you still up? It's not yet late, just past 10. Really? Past 10? How long have I been sleeping? Just 30 minutes. How are you feeling now? I keep dreaming of her, Mina. I don't even know what to do. Don't stress much. I'm sure we would find her, Sarah. We would find her soon. I hope so. What are you thinking of, Mina? I was just thinking on Jeff and how scared I am to date him because I don't want to break my heart. I'm scared of hurting myself. Don't be scared of, her, of your heart being broken. That's the worst that would happen. If you love him, give him a chance and see what happens. Expectations suck, Sarah. If I start dating him now, I'll start expecting. Expect that he will hurt you. Expect the worst. But we'll hope for the best, Mina. And give it your best shot. I want to be alone, Glory. I'm the one here, not Glory. Dad. What happened out there between you and your lover? It's just so annoying, Dad. It's like he said to make me angry today and I don't even know what I did to him. He's just complaining on everything. Maybe he's in a foul mood or all you would have done is to try to make him calm while he's with you. I tried to, but it didn't work. See, I'm tired of him already. You have to be calming down, Vivian. You were rude out there. I wasn't rude, Dad. It's the rude one and so annoying. Is this how you want to build your home when you are both married? I'm not going to get married to him again. I know you're joking. I'm not joking, Dad. I'm serious here. You should go and be with this perfect woman. You should just let me be on my own. You are going to marry him. There's no perfect man or woman out there. You both will be helping yourselves to get perfect. Dad, I want to sleep. I've had a long day at work. Now, tell me you ain't being rude. Oh, I'm tired, Dad. See, I'm just tired and I'm sorry for my tone. I'm sorry. Don't apologize to me. Go and apologize to Joel. I won't do that, Daddy. I need to take a shower and then get some sleep. Pedro, please tell me to lie. <laughs> She's dead, Sarah. She's dead. No! 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 Oh my god. Jessica is dead. Why did I let her leave the house? Why? I'm really not in the mood to talk, Lori. You're not in the mood to talk. I'm not. What happened outside that one? I know it's not my business, but I'm just checking on you. I know you spoke to him already, and let me guess. He said it was my fault. He said it was your fault. Always blaming me for things he did, but I'm not even offended by it. I'm not. You both need to sort your issues out. I don't have any issues here. It's the one with all the issues. He said he was angry and you didn't get him something to eat. And you believed him that I would do something like that. You can do something like that, Vivian. Why am I not surprised you support him? After all, you were both close friends. 
whatever friendship I have with him, it's because of you, Vivian. Because of your best interest. Nothing more than that. I am really not in the mood for all this. Believe me, Glory. I'm tired and I just want to rest my head and sleep. He is in the living room waiting. Who is he waiting for? Me or who? Yes, of course. You two are going to talk to his house. I'm not going to meet him. I want to sleep. I told that already. What about Joy? We are done talking, me and him. Tell him to go home, please. I can't believe she's gone like that. I'm so sorry about that, Carl. In just how many days I've lost those I love. It is really surprising. I can't believe that you mean she's really gone like that. I'm still telling the police to look for her body before confirming she's dead. They are telling me they are sure she's gone. We both know that the water never returns those it swallows up. Maybe she wasn't swallowed up by the water. Isn't that possible? True, true. I'm done, Jacob. I'm really done with everything. Don't say that. I don't know what I was thinking that I'll find love again. This is proof that I won't be able to find love. I won't. You will, Carl. I still found glory, didn't I? I'm not even thinking of love anymore. I'm done with it all. As much as it's painful, look at the brighter side of it. You are still alive and that means you can get another woman. I'm done with women. I don't even know why I wanted to fulfill this wish of matter. I know soon I'll also be gone, dead and forgotten. You're not dying anytime soon. I will not let you. Now stop drinking. She's gone, Joel. I can't believe this news. I really can't. Neither can I. But that was the clothes she was wearing, floating at the top of the river. I still saw her. We saw her at the bar with that man. Why did I even see her that day? Why? I don't believe Jessica is dead. She's alive. She's gone, Joel, and it's all my fault. I caused all of this. I did this to myself. All of this is your fault, Pedro. Why did I even go to the bar with you? Why did I listen to all you were saying on her cheating on me? It's not our fault, Pedro. It's not our fault. It's mine. I'm at fault here. Acting the way I did because of all this. I shouldn't have let her leave the house that night. It's not our fault. It is my fault. I caused all this. I shouldn't have acted like I did. Pedro, stop crying and man up. We are in public. Do I look like I care? I don't care about where we are. The woman I love is dead and it's all on me. She went to the beach to clear her head and the water took her away. We were meant to get married. It isn't your fault. Stop being too hard on yourself, Pedro. I know it's painful, but you have to put yourself together, please. Good morning, Vivian. Good morning. How are you feeling this morning? I hope you are much better compared to last night. Yes, I'm fine and thank you for yesterday. Don't thank me yet. My job hasn't been done. What job is that? You can stand in with Joel. Yes. Did you call him already? No, I didn't call him and I have no plans on doing that. He should be on his own and I on my own as well. Do you really don't know how to cook? Is cooking a skill I must have to be a wife? That's necessary, but you need to know how to cook. Growing up with my dad, he wasn't a chef. He didn't cook all the time. So my husband needs to be blamed then, but you know you can learn. I will teach you. I don't want to learn. Joel will have to accept me this way. Did you call out this morning? No, we didn't. Call him then and apologize to him on your behavior. That's not happening. Your phone is ringing. I'm surprised you asked to see me. I know, and thank you for coming and not turning down the offer to meet. So what it is? Jeff, you mentioned that you are in love with me, right? Yes, I did. And you also said the same. Did I? I don't remember saying I am in love with you as well. I don't remember you saying it clearly. You said it, but you also gave me reason why you couldn't be with me. An excuse. I can't be with you because... Forget about the reason, Mina. I really love you, and I want to be with you. You know I'm engaged, right? I don't care. Are you sure about that? Sure you don't care if I'm engaged or not? I don't care. So far you are telling me that I've got a chance with you. That's fine with me. I'm going to try my best to win you over. Well, I'm not engaged. Okay, but I'm not lying to you when I say that I've been harassed by the man who claimed to be your fiancé. I didn't say you are lying. I'm just surprised that anyone would walk up to you and say he's engaged to me. It was one of the men who you have found them. Do you want to know something interesting? I can't remember the last time someone asked me out. So you see, it's really surprising to me. You are trying to say no men are asked you out in a long time. 
No one else, Jeff. Just you. Can they see you? It's not that. Do you know the reason why I didn't want to date you? Everything will be fine, man. I want to travel, Jacob. Travel to where? Somewhere far from here. Somewhere I can go and claim my head from everything. Do you think now is a good time for you to travel with everything that's happening? This is the perfect time for me to leave. I need a vacation, a break. I wish I can come with you. You love to monitor me, Jacob, but I need to do this by myself, for me. Okay, where do you plan to travel to? I don't know yet. I've not decided, but I just want to go away. I don't know if it's a good idea, because it seems to me that you want to run away from your pain. You're traveling to avoid it. I don't think I can deal with it right now, because everything around me keeps reminding me of matter. And now we just are gone. I get you. So how long do you have to go? I don't know anything yet, Jacob. I just need this break. Okay. You help me in monitoring some activities while I'm gone. There's no problem on that. What am I going to do now? You are going to mourn Jessica and then get yourself together. I'm not sure I'll get myself together for the coming months. Jessica will not be happy if anything should happen to you, Pedro. I'm going to suggest you mourn her and then put yourself together. Thank you for everything. Don't be too hard on yourself, Pedro. I don't think I'll ever be able to forgive myself for what I've done. You are not at fault. If only she was home, none of this would have happened. I should have trusted her and not be all angry that day. Pedro, this isn't your fault. This is the way God has written it. Why wasn't I the one who went out? I wish I could turn back the hands of the clock. I would change everything. She was everything to me. Everything, Joel. My pillar. The one who supported me. Despite my excesses, she was there for me at every point, Joel. I knew she was a good woman to you. Pedro, I know this. Where do I start from? You start from where you stop. One thing we know is that death is inevitable and life goes on regardless of everything that happens. Are you joking now or oh, you are serious? Do I look like I'm joking? Look at my face. So because of your family cause or all the ladies in your family, that's why you have not dated anyone for years. Yes, that's it. As funny as it may sound. It sounds so much like you lied to me, Mina. I don't believe it at all. You don't need to believe it. It's the truth. I can tell you that a lot of ladies in my family aren't married up till now. But your mom got married to your dad, didn't she? Yes, she did. And that's because she's from another family. But once she started having children and had two daughters, she was told of the family cause in the family. So she stopped having kids as she could see it was true. It's not true. Mina, you and I are going to get married. Are we? Yes, I promise you that. I will marry you. Don't make promises to me that you can't keep. Don't do it, Jeff. I'm going to keep this promise to you. There is nothing like family cause. You are not under any cause. Do you know why those men didn't act yours? Why? Because you are too uptight and street it. <laughs> I am street. Yes, you are street me now. I see it all the time. Do you know that even from our first hello, if I wasn't a bold man, I would have stopped and left you alone. Why didn't you do that then? Because I knew you were my wife from the moment I saw you in the ditch. I am going to keep my fingers crossed on this. <laughs> I'm sorry, Jesse. I'm really sorry this happened this way. I'll miss you, Jesse. But I really hope in my heart that all of this isn't true and that you'll come back someday soon. I really wish this. I have to go. I can't do this. I really hope I'm dreaming because I want you to come back. If you're still out there, please come back home. Hello, Sarah. Hi. I can't believe she's gone. I had plans for her. Good plan. Life has happened to us yet again and we are all in a shock. She had dreams, Kai. She was planning on getting married, opening a bigger shop together. But look at what happened. All her dreams have been cut short because of the bitch. One unfortunate night. Fortunate indeed. What are you doing here? What are you doing here, Sarah? He was leaving already. I'll keep looking for Jessica until I find her. I believe she's not dead. He's the reason why she's dead as well. He's part of all this. Why won't you stop calling me already? Please stop it. Who's knocking on the door? Who's there? It is Sarah. Go away, Sarah. Jessica isn't here. She's not back home. I told you to go away. Didn't I say that, Sarah? 
Why are you doing this to yourself, Pedro? Why? What am I doing to myself? I just want to be by myself all alone. Look at the bottles on the floor. How many do you have to drink? As many that needs to help me think clearly. When was the last time you had a bath? I'm not interested in anything, Sarah. Nothing interests me anymore. You want to waste yourself, right? It doesn't matter what I do to myself. I don't even care about it anymore. You have to put yourself together, Pedro. Why? Why should I? Because she won't want this. Do you know how unhappy she would be if she sees you this way? Her heart would be broken, Pedro. She would be pained. No, she would be happy to see me like this. This is what I deserve for what I did. It's not your fault, Pedro. Please, get yourself to the bathroom and shower now. Why? Don't go and take your bath first, or do I have to bathe you? I'm not interested in taking my bath. I just want to be here all day long. Why did you choose this discreet location to meet? That's because Vivian doesn't like to see us together. I have noticed that as well. Did you two have an argument or what? There wasn't any argument. She's a very nice lady, Joel. Nice, but disrespectful. She's rude and lazy. I just know she's lazy. On the rude part, it only happens when she's angry. Did she say anything to you, Mrs. Jacob? No, she didn't. I said that you're annoying, Joel. I am always the annoying one. She told me she can't cook for me. Can you imagine that? But you know she can't cook, Joy. So why are you trying to get angry about that? I didn't know she hasn't slain. Whenever she spends the night at my place, I do all of the cooking because I love her. But I thought... Is that enough reason for the two of you to be fighting with each other? She asked me to leave the house as well. You said you love my stepdaughter, right? Yes, I love her. Then love her, Joy, and stop with all the excuses. She was wrong on how she had treated me in the house. I won't apologize for that. She also won't apologize to you. She blames you too. It's just perfect then. We both blame ourselves. You are the man here. You've got to take the fall, Joel, and settle your differences. Remember you are getting married soon. I don't think she's ready for marriage. I don't think so. So you are going to cancel the wedding? We still have about six months for the wedding. Let's see if she will change. I am done with him. Stop saying this, Vivian. Everyone fights with each other every now and then, but it doesn't mean that they are both done with each other. Not in this situation. See, Drew is just so annoying. He's always right as far as he's concerned. He's the one who knows it all. Yeah, also like that at times, Vivian. I'm not like him. His own is way worse than everyone else. You mentioned that already. It's too much for me to handle, Mina. You both need to sort yourselves out. Remember, you are getting married soon. Who told you I'm getting married to him? What does that mean? It means what's your head. Means I might not get married to him. See, I'm not even interested in the marriage again. I'm not interested. Look at how handsome and sharp you are looking now, Pedro. Thank you. Left to me, I don't want to clean up. You have to get yourself together through this time, Pedro. You really have to. I don't think I can do it. I try to get myself together, but I keep falling back and blaming myself for everything that's happened. It is not your fault. That's easy for you to say, but I keep hearing the voice that keeps telling me if only I didn't tell her to leave the house, if only I didn't do that. It isn't your fault. You didn't wish her bad when you said she should leave. How are you able to handle this, Sarah? How? I don't know. I wake up every day missing her. I cry out my eyes most of the times, but then I put myself together and start my day as I know that no matter what I do, it won't bring her back to life, Pedro. I wish I can also do the same. You can do that, Pedro. You have to get yourself together and, you know, live with the fact that she's gone and there's nothing you can do about it. I will try my best. And stop drinking, please. Stop getting yourself drunk. Does it even help? No, it doesn't help me. Then, why are you still drinking it? I've emptied the whole fridge of alcohol I found in it. Now, all you've got to do is suck it with juice. No more alcohol, please. Thank you. And go to work. Go out and stop being here alone. Lately, there hasn't been projects. No houses to clean. Then go out there and look for a job. Submit your CV. You know, the rent will soon be due here. You need to get money to pay up. You are right.
Get busy, Pedro. That will help you with the pain. That's what I'm doing in the salon. I get really busy at that time. I even call her name. But we've got to get ourselves together. This is what she would have wanted from us.